Okay, so with today's emulation station desktop edition setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Ming, and we're going to be doing this through RetroArch, which I think is possibly the easiest route for getting into Ming through emulation station. I'm also going to be talking about different ROM sets that you can obtain and how to map your controller out and also checking out some video settings. So if you want some arcade action using emulation station desktop edition, check this one out. Okay, before I start today's setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like, it really helps my channel out a great deal, plus it gets you up to date retro emulation content as I upload it, which is pretty much every day. So we're looking at MAME inside of Emulation Station Desktop Edition today. So what we need to do first is actually download RetroArch, this is going to be the easiest way to do this. So if we go over to RetroArch website. Just make sure you go to the Downloads tab and from here, if you scroll down, you're going to get Downloads Nightly and Downloads Stable. I don't recommend doing either of these. I'd recommend just scrolling down a bit more and downloading a portable version of this because we're going to put this into Emulation Station so it's nice and easy to find and access. So we got two versions, 64-bit and 32-bit. So this is depending on which type of computer you're running. So I'm using a 64-bit processor or computer. If you're not sure what you're running, then just go to your search bar and just type into your search bar system information. And from system information, under system type, you'll find out what type of computer you're running. And as you can see, I've got 64-bit. So therefore, I'm going to download the 64-bit version of RetroArch. And we're just going to let this one download. And whilst we're waiting for that, we need to talk about the different ROM sets that you can get for MAME. So I'm going to leave this in my description, but as we can see here, we got many different ROM sets and that can be confused to some people. So according to this website, the most recent ROM set you're going to find of MAME is 0.251. Now the ROM set I'm using is pretty old and it's from around 2003 and it's 0.78. So that's our ROM sets just here. And if we just go across under course or emulators, this suggests that 0.78 ROM set of MAME uses MAME 2003 and even MAME 2003 underscore plus. And those are the cores that we're going to need to power ROM set 0.78. So if you're using the most current version of MAME, which like I say, according to this is 0.251, we're gonna to need to download a core inside of RetroArch, which says current, MAME current. So that's your ROM sets explained, and that's the cores explained, which runs with the selected ROM set. And if we just scroll down, we know that there's different types of ROM sets. So for example, just here, we got full non-merge set, we got non-merge ROM, split sets, merge sets, and there are several other different type of ROM sets out there in the wilderness. So the one I recommend for this, and the one I'm using today, is the full non-merge ROM set. This means, as it says, that everything is actually within that package. So you don't need to download additional files where if you select a different type of ROM set, main ROM set, it's quite likely you're going to have lots and lots of duplicates and unnecessary files that you might not need. So for that reason, I totally recommend full non-merge set. Okay, so once you've downloaded RetroArch, you're going to find you've downloaded an archive or a zip folder, depending on which extraction software you're using. So we're going to go to the Emulation Station folder, and we're going to go to the Emulators folder. And if we just drag that zip folder inside of the Emulation Station Emulators folder, what we're going to do next is just extract this. So just right click on it, and I'm using WinRAR, as you can see, and it extracts here. And just let this do a spin for now. So we're going to right click on it, show more options, rename. 
and just delete the hyphen win64 or hyphen win32 whichever version you're using next thing we need to do is actually go inside of retroarch and we're going to open this up so just scroll down and open up the retroarch.exe now as you can see this is opened up into windows mode so obviously when we open this up within emulation station it's going to do the same thing so we actually need to turn this into full screen mode so what we need to do is just go down to settings video and you're going to find full screen modes just here and it's just a simple case of pressing on start in full screen modes okay so once that's done we're going to back out of here and the next thing we need to do is download a core so if you're not too familiar with retro watch or you might be a bit confused which is understandable we need to download the core and the core is essentially an emulator that works with retro watch and it powers our games so to do this we're going to go to main menu load core download the core and if we just tap down just a slight we're going to start seeing arcade we got fb alpha final burn neo uh, we got main 2000 uh, main 2003 and so on now if we take a look at arcade brackets main this is the core you're going to need to use or download if you're using the most recent version of a main rom set but for me i'm going to download main 2003 and i'm also going to download main 2003 plus as these two cores are compatible with my 0.78 main rom set so just download both of these and that's going to generate hashtags and that just tells us that these cores have now been installed so we're going to back out of here and i suggest just going down to a configuration file and saving this and if we back out quit retro arch and that's that so if we just scroll up within this retro arch folder there's a little folder here called chorus and this is where those cores have just downloaded as you can see i've got main 2003 and 2003 underscore plus so the next task we need to do within emulation station folder is we're going to find roms folder and in here if we just scroll down we're going to find main and this is where your rom set is going to go so put your games into this folder and then it's just a case of open up emulation station.exe and here we go so you should see at this point the main logo and here's the games so what i'm going to do first is press start on my controller to go to main menu if i go down to other settings alternative emulators we'll find main just here and we're going to find our main course and emulator so a lot of these you're going to need to download within retro watch itself for these to work and the ones which are saying standalone pretty much means that you need to download the standalone versions of this so for example if i select the main standalone and i open up a game which i'm going to open up one of my favorites which is say 1941 It will say at the top, couldn't find emulator main. So like I say, that literally means that we need to install that main standalone emulator, but we're not using that today. We're using RetroWatch. So we're going to go to other settings again, alternative emulators, and I'm going to use my 2003 plus core that I downloaded in RetroWatch. So if I select that and open up my game again, And as we can see, that's working fine now because I've downloaded and I've installed that RetroWatch core. So to access to quick menu, which I'm in now, it's for me, my Google Stadia button and the Y button together. If you take a look on the RetroArch website, it will give you 
your button settings or button mappings to access this menu. But from here, we can go to save states and we can save this game where we are right now. So just go down to save state. And if we go back to the quick menu, we can then load to where I've just saved it from. And if I come out of this save area, I can even use the add to favorites. So I can pop this into my add favorites selection. So for example, if you're using RetroWatch outside of Emulation Station, you will have up here favorites and there's my game. And also within the RetroWatch quick menu, we can mess around with some video settings for our main games. So go to settings, video, scaling. Now, aspect ratio currently this is on core provided and obviously 1941 is a vertical game so if we was to put this to another ratio such as full you'll see in the background the game is totally stretched but if you're running a game which is in more of a traditional aspect ratio rather than vertical then this will work fine so if we just take a look at this as you can see that's pretty bad so video then and scaling is the one to go for and we can go to integral scale which means that this is going to condense the image and just tidy things up so it's not so pixelated if i go back to aspect ratio pop this back onto core provided to get that vertical look back uh, we've also got integral scale over scale which again is a lot like integral scale it's going to clean bits of pixelation up that you might not want so we've also got bilinear filtering just like it says it adds a slight blur to the image to soften hard pixel edges so if you turn this on let's go back into the game as you can see it's slightly cleaned up so it's not so pixelated as it once was now should you get any issues within your main games for controllers then just go down to quick menu controls and port one controls and device type for me works fine on retro bad as you can see but we've also got the option and ability here to remap controls as you can see so that's just a process of remapping your controls to how you want it and obviously we can download some artwork and some preview videos within emulation station itself which is just going to main menu by pressing start uh, scrape these systems multiple arcade machine emulator is main if we go to back scrape these games i'm going to select no metadata and i'm going to go to start Now, obviously, depending on how many games you've got in your main ROM set, you know, this could take hours and hours. Uh, Emulation Station is very slow at scraping. But as you can see at the top here, we've got a preview video and we got some artwork for this. So that's it for my Emulation Station desktop edition and main setup guide today using RetroArch. If you like what you see, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming Emulation Station content as well as many other emulated platforms that I cover on my channel, Just Jamie. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.